I bet he has anger management issues. I guess you had a rough week. Hmm, what's up with that mask? I should try his ramen sometime. Oh, what? Goodbye. Welcome to Uzu Ramen. What can I get you? Do you know that woman wearing a mask? You mean Umaru san? I wish I did. But she comes here every day. I've never heard a single good word from her about my food. And yet, she keeps ordering. Who's that mysterious guy at the table? That's Gino. He doesn't talk much. Mostly drinks and stares at his bell and bones. Do you own this place? I do. And I'm proud of it. When I first got here, I thought my life was over. But running this shop gave me a new purpose. Good for you. I imagine it's a lot harder to find meaning in a life that's infinite. Not for me. I used to be so afraid of a death that this fear would literally swallow me whole. But there's no death to fear anymore. I'd like some ramen, please. Sure. What do you have for me? What do you mean? Is this your first day or something? Listen, there's no money here in whatever land. So we trade stuff to get other stuff. If I like your offer, then we have a deal. Nick should have told you. Yeah. I sure have. Oh, please don't give me that look. The opportunity just didn't present itself, you know? Well, now you know. Better late than never. Goodbye. <laughs> Be careful out there. Hey, do I know you? You look familiar. Familiar? How? You have the exact same nose as my neighbor, Quentin. It was very strange. We used to talk about some moving pictures all the time. He was a little crazy, you see. Probably a drunk. But at least not the raging kind. More of a choir. Well, I look like a lunatic who's also a drunk. Isn't that great? Well, at least he was a handsome lunatic. Actually, that does make it better. Yes. All right. So, what do you want from me? I heard you had a piece of it. You heard right, but I'm not a charity. Perhaps there's something I can do for you. Sure, a foot massage would be nice. I haven't taken these shoes off in a while. You? I... Suit yourself. Why did Beatrice send you here? For a good reason. And uh, what is that supposed to mean? That you shouldn't stick your nose in other people's business. What can you recommend on the menu? Nothing. Really? There are at least a dozen empty plates in front of you. Good to know you're not blind. Still, the food here is horrible. I haven't had a decent ramen in more than a century. I'm sure you can survive even without ramen. Survive? Yes. But live? Oh no, boy. That can't be called living. If I cook you the perfect ramen, will you give me your piece of the spell? If you do that, I'll even give you a kiss. Uh... That was a joke. Although, you've been such a good boy this whole time. I think you deserve a kiss. If your ramen is at least Half as good as the one I had back then. The spell is yours. I don't even know why I kept it all these years. 
probably to piss off Ernest. What about Ernest? He once sent his men after me, hoping I'd just give him my piece of the spell. So, why didn't you? Because Ernest can go screw himself. I hate that guy. Thinks he's the boss of this dump. Yeah, right. But how did you get rid of his men? I'd be off one of the guy's finger and threaten that next time I'd be aiming for other body parts if you get what I'm saying. I think I do. Good. Now, hurry up and treat a lady to some real good ramen. Goodbye. Whatever. Hello again. What's Omara's son's problem with your uh, ramen? That woman is insufferable. She wants special ramen made with gold and tuna. I'm not sure it even exists here in whatever land. But even if it did, I'd never make it for her. Why not? Because who puts tuna in ramen, even if it's golden? Actually, I'd try that. <laughs> of course you would. Feel free to use my kitchen if you decide to make that weird tuna ramen for her. The recipe should be near the stove. Oh, and don't put any kind of alcohol in it, or she'll pass out. Got it. Thanks for the help. I'm just curious to see what's going to happen. Do you have any idea where I can find that special golden tuna? Try asking Santiago at the market. He is the local fisherman, so if anyone can help you, it's him. Feels like the right place to look for a non-existent fish. Quit the brooding and let's find that precious tuna. At least someone's optimistic. Is that a cat? Vincent, don't be rude. It's a bat. What if it's... what's he looking at? Oh. No suit for the ghost. How tragic. Feels like the right place to look for a non-existent fish. Quit the brooding and let's find that precious tuna. At least someone's optimistic. Why does he look so out of place here? My mother and I used to go to candy stores all the time. Never thought you were sweet tooth. Yeah, I was. How about some died. candy? Sweets never taste. I'm good, thanks. Beatrice must have sent her here because she was crossing the road too slowly. I'm sorry. It's okay. Now that's a nice mustache. Probably helps with the sales. And with the ladies the too. Surely makes for a bold design statement. Hello, comrade. Got anything to trade? Not really. anything, except your sleeping schedule. Um, good to know. Now that's a nice mustache. Probably helps with the sales. And with the How can I help you? Do you happen to have a golden tuna for sale? Huh? Did I hear that right? You're talking about the golden tuna? Do you have it or not? Actually, I do have this beautiful, exclusive, incredible fish. But... Doesn't there always have to be a but? Nah, life is just a series of infinite buts. Remember that, amigo. Fine. What do you want, then? I got a fresh batch here, but I still can't get my hands on it. 
Sort the fish while I handle the customers. And the golden tuna is yours. Deal. That shouldn't be too hard. Just don't get too cocky. All right, camarada. What you have to do is sort the new batch of fish. Be simple. Good fish to the left, bad fish to the right. Come on, no time to waste. Bad camarada, but the next batch is a little different. If you see a fish with red fins, put it to the left, even if it looks rotten. Sounds strange, I know, but that's kind of a weird delicacy we have here. Tastes like a first kiss. Nasty, but unforgettable. Doing good, camarada. Now stay vigilant, because in the next batch, there might be whatever landers who turned into fish. <laughs> you won't want to eat them, no? <laughs> so watch out for fish with human eyes and put them to the right. This is the last batch, but a very tricky one. You see, local cats found out we were throwing fishy whatever landers away. So they started drawing eyes on the fresh fish to confuse us and snatch it for themselves. Don't let those fake eyes confuse you. Ah, camarada, this is not going to work. Start over. Thanks to you, camarada. Here's your golden tuna, just as I promised. How can I help you? Is this really the only fish store in whatever land? It is, but that doesn't mean it's not the best. Tell me, young man, 
Have you ever put your whole soul into something that may never be fully appreciated by others? Not really, no. Well, then I am not surprised by your skepticism. Yes, it's the only fish store in town. And yes, the locals don't even have to eat to survive. But that doesn't mean I can't be the best of my job. But what's the point of working if you're immortal? I was happy selling fish when I was out there in the mortal world. I even had this regular customer I was planning to marry. Her eyes were as dark as the most precious of obsidians. If only I hadn't gotten involved with that gang. Ah, let's not dwell on the past. Goodbye. Hasta la vista. Let's take you home. Now that's a nice mustache. Probably helps with the sales. And with the latest... Needs a clock and whatever land. Those who like to have at least an illusion of control. I don't know what this is, but... Ew. Keep the cucumbers moist. Haha, <laughs> moist. I can cook some ramen here, or at least try to. Try this. Yes. Goodbye. Whatever. Hmm, what's up with that mask?
like this. Here, try this. Try this. Wait! You actually made me a ramen? You must be desperate. Let's see. It's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. The tuna is melting in my mouth like fresh butter. Reminds me of the good old days. You managed to impress me. I'll give you that. Here, the spell is yours. Thank you. By the way, your taste is really weird. Ha! Ah, you think I don't know that? Now, get out of my face before I force you to make me another bowl! So, you're a thief and a master chef all at once. Who would have thought? I'm a man of many talents. By the way, you look great in an apron. Just saying. Oh, I'm flattered. All that ramen made me hungry as a wolf. How about we order something to celebrate? Let's celebrate after we get out of here, alright? Remind me why do I keep hanging out with you? Because I look great in an apron, obviously. Exactly. Now off we go. Ah! 
Her bones so fine and brittle, it barely took an hour, as tender flesh grew sweeter and blood was getting sour. Her eyes, so blue and clever, got dark and filled with fear. Tear her apart could never, too salty from the tears. 